In this example, we are going to see how to configure a dynamic access list. A dynamic access list is also referred to as a lock and key access list. So now I'm going to configure the dynamic access list on RTA for the purpose of allowing host 1 to ping to host 3 and host 4, also to allow host 2 to ping host 3 and host 4. So let's start with host uh, with router RTA. So I go to the uh, privilege exec mode. From here, I will check if there is any access list already configured on this router. Let's check the configuration on RTA. So everything is OK. Of course, I should show that, for example, from uh, host 1, I am able to ping uh, host 3. OK, I can ping host uh, 4. This is from host 1. And also from host uh, 2, I should be able to ping host uh, 3 and host 4. This is, of course, before applying the dynamic access list. Now, I will configure my dynamic access list. The first thing I should do is to create an account. This account is will be named, the account is named test123 with password same test123 also this uh, account here is bound to uh, with an auto command access enable host timeout 15 for example so anyone who uses this account normally he will have uh, 15 minutes of uh, access and the communication so i will type enter so now i need to go to the vty line right and here i will type login local so if you want to access rta using tenet uh, you should log in using the local username account which is created on router rta now the first thing here i need to create the access list of course, it should be an extended access list. So I will. the first rule here will be permit TCP from all hosts on network 172.16.0.0 with wildcard mask 000.255 to host 172.16.0.250. And the, the TCP connection should be a, a Ternet connection here, of course. So I'm allowing Ternet connection from any host on network 172.16.0.0 to the fast Ethernet 00 on router RTA. Now the second rule will be will be to permit ICMP traffic. Uh, sorry, the second rule will be to permit ICMP traffic. Permit uh, ICMP tra uh, uh, ICMP traffic but it should be a dynamic access list, right? First, I have to create a dynamic access list. And uh, the timeout I give to each rule to be created dynamically will be 10 minutes. And then here I will permit the type of traffic that I want, ICMP from 172.16.0.0 with wildcard mask 000.255 to network 172.31.0.0 zero with white card mask zero dot zero dot zero dot two fifty five. I will access now the first tenant zero zero to apply the access list one hundred IP access list access group sorry one hundred and the access list is applied in the inbound direction. Now of course I go to host one from host one I should try to ping again uh, host uh, 3 on lane 2. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. You see, uh, I would try to ping host 4 on lane 2. It doesn't work. So why? Because I don't have the uh, right, the access rights for that. In order to gain access rights, I should turn that to the fast Ethernet 00 on router RTA. So I should type the IP address 172.16.250. Now, the router will prompt me for username. I will type test123, and then he will ask me for a password. Now, if the password is correct and all the credentials are, are true, are correct, so now the router will accept my connection, but he will close it rapidly. But after that, 
the router will close it once it will close it now I try to ping host 3 you see now it works I will ping also host 2 and it works I will try the same the same thing with uh, host 2 from host 2 I try to ping 172.31.0 it doesn't work okay no problem so now I tell it to 172.16.0.250 uh, I type the same credentials okay now the net connection is closed which means that the router now is giving me access so I can ping to 172.31.0.1.2 now let's go to router RT1 and see the access list that show up there so these are the two rules that I have entered initially and these are the two dynamic entries that were created and uh, yeah, triggered uh, through by the traffic that I generated from LEN 1 to LEN 2. Thank you for viewing this example. This is Hakim Adish. Bye.